so now we're going to look at variables so same thing again so we're just going to load uh, Miracle C again the compiler we're going to start a new project or a new page this time if you remember the first lesson I did a quick quick lesson on variables so same again we're just going to start with include stdio dot h this time round we're going to actually define a variable now I'll take you very quickly um, on on variables in a different variable types okay so you have something called the char a char is characters so it's characters okay so it's like a b c d e f g yeah so that's all it is it takes it holds one character by default okay that's what char is then you have int int is stands for integer okay and that's basically a whole number so something like 1 2 10 11 12 and it but it's not 1.1 1 .1 or or you know like this it's not enough like that it's not a float number it's a whole number okay so that's an int and then you have a float a float it has a float point something like something like that one two three four uh, so now you've got so many digits after the the decimal point okay and it holds up to six digits they so say one two three four five six so it holds up to six digits in in that yeah there's a bigger size um, float it's called a double now what that the double holds it holds up to ten so one two three four five six seven eight nine one again okay so it, it, it basically is a bigger um, content a uh, container than than the float so it holds more after the decimal point okay so these are the four basic data types okay now in this example we are going to use the char okay so if you remember we, we had a, a container and I said there was like a box and in that box we're going to put the word hello world and then it's going to display it out so we're going to do that now so we just put that char and then we're going to call it carry let's, let's make it more interesting let's call it x okay so you could call a variable anything as long as it doesn't start with a number and it doesn't have a space and, it, and all that stuff so you can put x okay as as a as the, the the name of the box okay the name of the variable and this time we're going to put these square brackets this time okay and we're going to put size 10 basically what that says it holds up to 10 characters in the memory so it would allocate that space in the memory and it's a good way to uh, for, for an efficient program right now it's a very small um, uh, program but as the, you build more complex applications you need to manage memory in the most effective way so in this in this example we're just using up to 10 we could put 100 and said well you know we've got so many memory we've got so many gigabytes of memory here we, why what's 10 bits gonna do to us so but in here we're just gonna put 10 and we're gonna put uh, quotation marks and we'll put hello and uh, no, we'll put the hello world okay yeah, misspelling again Oops. okay so we've got that so that's 10 characters 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 Let's make that 15. Make it 15, and we'll put a space in the middle as well. Okay, because the the space counts for as, as a as a character as well. So that's a character, just an empty character. Okay, so now we start the main again. This time we're going to say printf and we're not going to put uh, any quotation mark. We're just put x and then semicolon at the bottom that's it that's the program done 
okay that's in C uh, for consistency and to give you an idea of how that would be written or a variable would be defined in PHP I'm going to give you the PHP version as well so I'm just going to put a quick line here okay the PHP would look something like this okay so you start the script with a less than question mark like I said before um, this time you don't we don't have anything as, as you need to define the variable type you can actually just type x uh, equals and put the quotation marks hello world okay and then you put echo here and you put x oops made a big mistake sorry when you're defining a variable in PHP you have to put the dollar in front so it's dollar x okay and we put dollar x here and that's it and that's the PHP that one there's PHP and that one is C but we don't need PHP for now so I'm just giving you that as an example of a comparison we're gonna save this one here save as go back 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 to the folder that we created where did we create it? We created it in C and we called it C examples didn't we? so let's look for that, there you go and we're gonna call this one um, hello var make the V small and we click save now to check if there's any errors so we just click compile it says line 2 there's an error ok So we've seen the, the mistake that we've done was we made the chart in capital and programming is all case sensitive so it shouldn't, shouldn't have started with a, a capital C, it should start always with small. So now it's, it's done, it's compiled, we're going to click on build again, no problem, building complete. This time round let's go to the command prompt again so we'll just put, bring that down command prompt we've got put c slash dirw -D and we cd mc examples dirw and looking now for hello var well, enter and it says there hello world so that's the program uh, we'll move on to uh, more programs in the next lesson